going on guys? We are back and we're ready to get right into this conversation today. We'll have fun. I've been trying to get her to come into the picture, but look what she's doing because she won't come over here. Let me just show you. I'm gonna just show you. Look, I'm gonna just show you. Come on. You think you're gonna go to the gym or something and knock it out or something. Girl, you better get over here. Come on now. <laughs> Come on there. <laughs> Look, come on. Come on. Come on. Really? Can you just hurry up and come over? She got to get dinner together because uh, we got to take our daughter to the dance class. Come on. We ain't got a lot of time. Let's go. Come on now. That's it. That's we. Oh my God! Please, y'all, tell him he is such a hater. Just like. Hi, everybody, Where's and you? welcome back to the Can't Get, Get right, right Couple. Ow! What's going on, everyone? Mama said, "Knock you out." Thank you for tuning in to this. Uh, to this. My weekly. head, my blood is rushing. To my yes, head. it is. I, I told you, you, you can't move like me. Excuse you gotta sit me. down and just be still. Ooh. Like yeah, you gonna you gonna sweat your ends out and everything. Ooh, my edges anyway, here. You mean my what, edges? My edges. You, okay. You know what I'm saying, women. You know you know how we do it. Okay. So what's, so what is your problem today? Are your problem? Oh oh, oh, oh I got a problem. <laughs> and men, I need your help out there. Okay. <clears throat> I need your help, men. Our topic today <clears throat> is discipline your kids. Who does it? Does she do it? Do I do it? Do we both do it? Who's in charge? Not discipline. How you discipline? Well, okay. Well, well how are you discipline? Well, I'm gonna need you to get your words together, bro. Well, how do you? Who in the house takes care of that? Is it the man's job? Some most people will probably say, "Yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to the man." Is it the mom's job? We don't know. All I know is we having conflicts about this in our house uh, and how we supposed to go about handling this. And today, I want you guys to let us know what you guys think about. Who in your household does all the discipline? And drop your comments below on who in your household disciplines your kids. You just repeated what I said. What, were you see the problem? You is, said see the problem for is, us. You said drop a comment for us. I said drop a comment for them. Well, that's what so I drop meant. Their comments down below. Down below. And don't forget to and subscribe. Let us, and let us know. Yes. How you discipline it's your kids? A little kids. button right there in the and corner. And also just subscribe when, to that. And, and also. When and how to fight certain battles. Well, because not every battle needs to be fought right then and there. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta let stuff go. Yeah, but sometimes you just get freaking tired of it. And as a man of the house, you get tired of putting up with some of the mess you gotta put up with. And when I gotta try to battle back and forth with her, knowing when I'm going to go discipline our kids, <clears throat> because I've already just ah, oh, just I'm so stressed out, and then she wants to come and tell me it didn't take all that. Well, after fifty thousand times and they still don't get it, and now she still want to be in my face, but like it didn't, it didn't take off that. And now look where we at today. We're at, we're in conflict. And you know what? That's why you're going bald in two spots, and I got all my hair. You think so? I mean, for real. You, we all have kids, and we all go through situations. You know, some some people out there, luckily, and thank God. You guys have the kids where it's like you don't have to yell at them. They got their stuff together. They're always taking care of their stuff. They keep their rooms Trust me, clean. no kid is going to be together. <coughs> There's some kids There's out there. some good kids out there. There's some good wholesome kids Our kids, kids out there. are very good kids. Our kids are not wholesome kids, though. Yes, our kids are wholesome. No, they're not. Yes, see, they love the Bible. And you know what? <laughs> they love the Bible. But see, that's the problem. She's in denial. I'm, I'm not in denial. I'm... I'm not accepting it. I'm just being it. more realistic. I, I'm not accepting it, then but... I will, I'm, I am more in tune of saying, yes, our kids are bad. Yes, our 19-year-old, yes, our 15-year-old, and yes, our three, uh, our nine-year-old daughter, they're bad. And you want to know why? Because when I go and try to discipline them, what happens? Mm -hmm. They come right to mommy, and then mommy makes it all better for them. Now, do I say she never supports me in what I do? She tries it. You, you'll hear her say it. You know what? I'm done. 
I'm not dealing with situation no more. If you guys have a problem, something going on, go to your dad. But two days later, mama bear, mama bear, let me talk to you for a second. And here we go. We're right back in the same path. And I'm frustrated as a man because I understand what it takes as a man to make it. And I don't, she doesn't. Just like she always tells me, I wouldn't want to be a man because you guys got too I much. Because I don't want to be a man. Because you guys got too much on your <laughs> plate. And I'm like, uh, yeah, we do got too much on our plate. You Trust me, right I was trying to help you out. But yeah, bro, you be taking it from zero to like a thousand in like because a split I'm, of a second. Do you think I'm angry or do you think I'm frustrated? I love my, well, I just, I love my kids. I think sometimes you just like hearing yourself talk. No, I don't. Are you kidding? Like Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac is not amused. Look, <laughs> I, dude, I don't. Yeah. I mean, do you, yeah, yeah. they think I get up in the morning yelling. Well, when you in your room, and we've been blessed that, you know, they definitely have a lot more than what I had coming up, a lot more than what she had coming up. You know, they pretty much always, in a, in a sense, have their own rooms, have their own stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So you got kids mm -hmm. that big, they love sunflower seeds. But they'll eat the sunflower seeds and then they'll just leave them on the dresser. They'll eat the sunflower seeds and they'll set the sunflower seeds on the dresser. No paper towel, no nothing. They just set it on the dresser. You mean the sunflower seed shells? Yeah. They eat them. They spit them out. I'm and, trying to clarify you know what, what you're saying. So the people so out there. you telling me that I shouldn't be upset because stuff, they ain't paying for nothing in the house. If I got to pay for everything and then I, I come up to your room in a new house and now here it is. I look and you got stuff all over the place, all over the dresser. Like, are you too lazy that you can't even walk two feet and throw that stuff in the trash can? You know? So you tell me, am I being angry? So, I agree with you. But sometimes it's not what you're saying. It's, it's how, how you're saying it. But, I, I, but, but then I also understand that. It's coming from frustration, it's though. It's coming from frustration. It is coming but from see, frustration. I was a bad slash wholesome child. Oh, no, you wasn't. So... I understand, and that's why I guess I don't get as bent out of shape and upset as he does, because he played like he was wholesome. But according to his mom, he was a good kid. I, was I a guess good kid. when he was around her. Yeah, I'm a. But I'm a good, anyway, I'm a good kid. You know what I'm saying? And, and so I'm not I understand what he's saying, but I'm trying to get him to get his stress level down. Yeah, but my stress level is because his frustration. I, I understand that, I and this is why I be talking to the kids. So you tell me I should be. Ha you tell me I, I have to remind my kids. My you tell me that I have to remind my kids daily to do their chores. How many people out there gotta remind their kids daily to do their chores? Drop your comments below, please, please. It's 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 it's. it's we right. can't compare ourselves to other people, but we kind of have to compare. I'm the situation. I'm not if listening. You understand to this. what I'm saying? Because I'm not now, we're not the only one in, in I didn't, the same boat. I, I didn't look. And I know. I like know I we. Said, we I know we're not. A, we have to control. And I'm pretty sure some more angry, upset, stressed people out there with their kids because they try to do everything they can for their kids. Okay, they try to make a life better for them. They try to teach them life lessons, but every day they still have to get on them about the same thing. At what point do you say, you know what, enough's enough? You know? Okay. Maybe that point would be when they leave the house. Well, I, I, I want them to leave friends. tomorrow. They can leave tomorrow <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah. Not my little one. She got to stay with me. And she's the worst one. She's no. the ring leader. No, she ain't. She's the one that need to leave. No, she's just... They are... The the, the two boys, 19 and, and 15, are jealous of her because she is completely motivated in life and they're not. Now, I love them, no. but they're not motivated. You be, you, be, you be on Michael and Sean more than you are. Ava. Because she's same, motivated. And you know what? When, no. You know what? He, she, I don't be believing But here's the thing, though. <clears throat> here's the thing. She talks to me. She'll come up to me and she'll just sit and talk to me about life, about situations. My boys, they won't do it. That's because they don't like you. Well, I don't like them neither. <laughs> just, just so we talking. Just so we look. Let's put that out for a disclaimer. I don't like my kids. I love them. I want them to be safe. I want them not to be homeless, and I want them to feed them, but I don't like them. Like, like when they go to school, I rejoice in the Lord. <laughs> what scripture? <laughs> what scripture is that? <laughs> you know, raise them up so when they leave, they, they won't depart. <laughs> it is. Well, so I mean, it is stressful. It is, it is stressful. It's, it's stressful. Have and there's no book. I don't care how many parent magazines you buy. All they have, yep. well, only ads they have in there is stuff to sell. 
it, there's no science or no arithmetic to being a parent. It's just pray. one of those things. We just yeah, need to pray more. You gotta continue to pray. We just need to pray more. Yeah. Yeah. Pray for I, your sanity yeah, because that's what you need. Yeah. But so, I mean, you know, I tell them to take it one day at a time. That's true. It's that's true. It's all we can do. So, with that being said, you guys... Because you be wanting to choke them out sometimes. Oh, yeah. You, you just want to be like, oh. So, we was coming home today, and I'm on the way home, I saw a police car leave our community, and I was praying that my oldest one was in the back of it. So, I would have to look you at lie. him He a lie. <laughs> he was looking to make sure Junior wasn't in the car. So... Because I now, was like that, too. I was like, I hope you... I'm yeah, it is. So, yeah. I guess the whole moral of this video is, as a couple... You guys, this is something that you guys really got to sit down and, and, and really try to be on, yes. have and one goal of, be, of, of really doing this together. Yes, and, and and we are individuals and we have our own way of thinking. But what I do, what we, what I try to do is, is because a lot of times I feel like since, let me tell me what I'm doing. I'm saying. Um, the reason why they respond to me more than they do him is because he spent his, he spent most of his career while they were young in the military. I was so provided he was for going, I was there. Was, but I, they, I was they there. respond to me more because I'm the one that they see all the time. Well, so we're I'm doing more now. of the nursery. home then. But I, now they're adults, I, they don't like you. So I, it's just one of those things where as... Well, they sure do come to me when they want something. Yeah, of course. They do. I, what we're basically trying to say is kind of stay on the same page. Like yeah, we you said, you you're, you're, you're going to be individualized and you're going to have your way of doing things and your spouse is going to have another way of doing things, but come together. Like, I don't even, if my kids want to come and ask me something, nope, you need to go ask your dad. Don't ask me. So they that, don't even ask him. <laughs> they, just, for, they just be like, you, you know, know what? what? Mind. That policy lasts for about 45 minutes and then they write back in there with her and she's like, well, let's talk. No, that's a lie. It is. That is a lie. No, I don't not. even know. I don't. Why are you telling so these people? So the moral of the story is like I was trying to say is, and thank you guys so the much for tuning in. The moral of the story in. is talk Just, to your spouse yeah. about, okay. you know, situations. Like okay. I said, there's different things. You know, you're not going to win every battle. It's just yeah. one of those things. And the last thing, we've actually put this out before. Never let your kids see you argue in front of them as much as uh, as much as possible. We've got into a couple times in front yeah. of Junior. Yeah, we have, but we we take it behind closed door, and he is. I be like, yo, yo, come here, come here, come here. <coughs> the Japanese be like, yeah. I be so, like, yo, come here. I got something to talk to you about. And as a couple, as a couple, I cannot stress this enough. Do not let the kids divide you guys as yep. a couple. Don't don't do that. As often as possible, you guys just regroup and come together as a team and you guys conquer the kids to discipline as a group. Yeah. It's very important. Don't 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 and bring you, them in and and that individual <coughs> child that you're having a problem with, you bring them and both of y'all, all three of y'all talk together and you let them know how you feel about what they're doing. And talk to them to see the reason why they're doing what they're doing. Because a lot of times back in the day when I was growing up, you didn't have that opportunity to talk. You just got mm -hmm. a beating yep. for doing something. So just talk to your kids. This is yep. a new day and age. These kids are kind of like, can you please stop kicking on me? And I'm just sorry. Are you just shaking me, telling me to um, shorten it up? I know. I know. But like I said, yeah. just talk to your kids. And now if you need to lay hands on them. You know, just don't let nobody know. We ain't condoning it, but we understand. Yeah, like Martin said, yeah. I don't condone it. So, you know. But I understand it. But hey, thank you guys for tuning in today. Yeah. And we Hopefully we helped. We was yeah, rambling yeah. a little bit, but we she hope was, that helped. She was rambling. She just I was goes, rambling, but hopefully y'all understand. Off. Just talk to yeah, your she kids. Does. You but know the, what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we may ramble in our videos, but we got our stuff together as a couple when it comes to the kids, though. Yeah, and we despite, got our kids back. Yeah. So, you know, the, despite us having our little differences on how we do it, we both come together as a couple, and we 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 make sure that they don't divide us, and exactly. we stay together because they have to leave one day, and we have to be here. Or so he gonna get cut. Absolutely, I love that too. Yeah. So thank you guys for tuning in to the Can't Get Right Couple. Leave your comments, and don't forget to go right down there and subscribe to that little button so you don't miss a video. Yes. Peace. Thank you.